Okay, so let's do an example where we calculate the average atomic mass for neon. And we're going to use the information that we have given here. Okay, so remember what the average atomic mass is, and that is a weighted average. Okay, so we're going to use several pieces of information here. Okay, so this natural abundance, that tells us the percent that it's found in nature and the atomic mass for each of these isotopes. So neon 20 has an atomic mass of 19.992 AMU. Now I've rounded these a little bit. Um, and the natural abundance is 90.48%. Okay, so all of these are listed similarly. So 21 neon is 20.994 AMU and 0.27%. Okay, so what we need to do is calculate a weighted average for neon, and that'll give us the average atomic mass. Now, if we think about this, we're going to notice that this one's going to contribute the most to our weighted average, right? Because it's 90, it's over 90% of the neon isotopes are this neon 20. So, all right, so let's go ahead and go through the procedure. So what we want to do, let's go ahead and write down average atomic mass, because that's where we're going. Okay. And so for each isotope, what we're going to do is take the natural abundance as a decimal, okay? Okay, and so we want it as a decimal. We're going to take it out of percent, and then we're going to multiply it by the atomic mass for each isotope. And we're going to add them all together, okay? So... This is the first one, and then the second, etc. Okay, so we're going to do that for all three of them. Now, let's go ahead and take these natural abundances out of percentages. And so the way we're going to do that is just divide it by 100, and that'll give us just that'll give us a decimal. Okay, so if we divide 90.48%. We are, by 100, we're going to get 0 0.9048, okay? No units. Uh, next one, 0 0.0027, and finally 0 0.0925. All right, so now all we need to do is multiply each of these pairs together, the atomic mass for each isotope by its natural abundance, and add them all together. So let's do that. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to have 0 0.9048 times 19.992. Okay, all right, I kind of made a mess out of that. So let's just clean it up just a little bit. Not, 0 0.9048 times 19.992 plus, do the same thing for the next one, 0 0.0027 times 20.994 plus the last one is 0 0.0925 times 21.991. Okay, so now if we run this through the calculator, we are going to get, for each term, 18.08876 AMU plus 0 0.05 six six eight four AMU plus two point zero three four one AMU. Okay. So just to remind you that see all of these were in AMU. I didn't have enough room to write that down as we went along, but those are all AMU. Okay, so we're keeping track of that. And when we add all of those guys together, then we get twenty point one seven nine six 
AMU as the average atomic mass, and let's go ahead and round that to two decimal places, and we're going to end up with 20.18 AMU as the average atomic mass for neon. And we can check our answer by going to the periodic table. So like I say, there's a little bit of rounding in here. The periodic table I have says it's 20.183 AMU, and so we're decently close to that.